It's funny the impro improvising you have to do. Yes. When you can't get through rock in the <laughs> ground. Jeez, oh. I didn't think it was uh, going to be that hard. I didn't think there was going to be that that rock there. Yeah. So. Oh, all the way around. Mm. Like not just. Oh. But anyway, we'll probably have to prop one end of that up, get it level, and cook a bit of feed. Mm. Yeah, I got my steak there, so that'll do me for tonight. Sausages and a bit of salad, and I'll be laughing. I'll be laughing, that's it. It'll be different again over, so I'll do it on the grill side. Hey. When I do the steak, I'll do it on do the Do it on side. the slotted side, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I'll just give you that nice campfire. Yep, absolutely. Um, scent that you can't get anywhere else. Hey. I'll give you that nice campfire scent that you can't get anywhere you else. You can't get it at home. No. <laughs> Not on an electric stove. No. Not even no. on a gas stove. <laughs> if you put yourself a little uh, fire pit out the back, you might be able to... Uh... It's on the cards. If you permanently put one of them poles in the, in the concrete, if you might make a bit of concrete there, only a handful of concrete down in the bloody hole, you you got a bloody pole there for for using some of this stuff. But yeah, I'm thinking about getting some of that stuff. So yeah, it depends if I go back to putting my um, storage box on the roof. What it comes yeah, to. yeah. There's okay. Extra storage space up there. Yep. Um, That'd probably be a good uh, a good thing just to get some of the stuff that you might have a problem with in the car, the outside the car. Well, the chainsaw goes up in there. Yeah, yeah. But if oils. I'm going to go electric, which I think I will at some point, then there's no point in me putting a chainsaw in there. Let's put it in the car. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially having that platform coming as well. Um, yeah, I suppose all your all your um, uh, cooking gear like this sort of stuff can go up in the case. Hmm. And uh, it's not going to be super heavy. No, no, not at all. So at but the moment, I've got my camp oven in the drawer. Yeah. So they could probably go up in the case too. Yeah. Like eventually. Yeah. So yeah. that uh, whatever you're going to use for cooking that night, you 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 grab out of the space case. Yeah. And uh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Depends. You know, obviously that draw that draw system will probably change at some point too. Oh, so, more than likely, more than likely. So, and but, that uh, platform. It's not a it's not a fortune that you're going to uh, like the 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 Titan drawers aren't a fortune. No. So you'll always move them on somewhere. Yeah. If for you, someone to buy it, do then that, that yeah. obviously that platform will go with it. It'll be the suit eighty series when it's all done anyway. So yeah. Yeah. It'll be a straight bolting kit for someone with a late model. With the split seats in the rear. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the bench seats have different mounting points again. But uh, anyway, it's uh, down the track. You've got a lot of you got a lot of years left yet. <laughs> Who knows, mate? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Well, I suppose you've been to a been to one uh, near death experience. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> that's one of my one of my nine lives. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. I it all. Driving around the high country, I look down at those bloody yeah. drop offs and I think, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, you just you just shake your head. You think, how the bloody hell did but I walk away? Yeah. <laughs> very, very lucky. Oh, yeah. But on the men now, mm. definitely. It's coming good. Mm, getting there. Thank God. Yeah. A little bit longer than it should have been, but anyway. Yeah, only 12 months, longer if, than it should have been. Yeah, if they'd have, if they'd have done it right in Wangaratta, you'd have been fine. Mm. But I guess they had to kind of whack that bit of bone in there. Yeah. To reattach it. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, couldn't really do anything else other than that, I don't think, anyway. But yep. the fact that the screws caused so many problems. Yeah, anyway. But. Yeah. Do you reckon you do high country again? No, oh, I'm not sure whether I'll get down to do it again. I'll make you we can come down to do oh. it. Yeah. <laughs> what, if, what if I sell my car? You won't though. 
<laughs> I know you won't. I know you. You wouldn't sell it. Anyway. She's going to cool down tonight. I can already feel it. Dropping. I think it will. But Five degrees apparently. So. But that, that's not too bad. That's not no. bloody stupid. No. It'll be... Uh, not like 0.4. Yeah, last week. Uh, that's getting cold. Yeah. Yeah. That was cold. I think I had the, the one degree or bloody. Did you get into uh, the minuses at all or not? Hey. Did you get into the minuses at all? I don't think I did. No? Not even when you were going through the snow? No. No. Okay. It wasn't that it wasn't that cold. Okay. It was weird actually. Hmm. But uh even the even the uh, one degree or, or zero you still you still really need the um, electric blanket in the tent to yep. uh, when you first get in because it is bloody cold it's like everything's wet it oh, I know that feeling like yeah. yeah what I need to do I think I need like an under blanket like underneath my yeah. bag yeah just that so wouldn't that, hurt no. Just but for that, and I could still roll it up with it in there, it wouldn't be a problem. It was just to give it that extra bit of loft yeah, and that extra bit of um, thermal insulation because yep. I still find even with that crash pad sleeping bag, yep, that still still gets cold. Like at once, especially around to minus 10, but at one I was cold still. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's the, it's the time when you first get in to uh, warm. warm it up for a start. Mm. That's where the um, yep. the blanket comes into its own. But when you first get in, it is bloody freezing. My mummy bag was really good because it's so close to your skin. Yeah. You heat up like that. Yeah. Like you can't move them. I normally out. have no problem heating heating mm. the uh, me bedding and and all of that. That's not a problem. Yeah. But when it gets to under you know zero degrees, the get particularly in the tent, in the rooftop tent, uh, it's so bloody cold. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it takes you 10 minutes to warm it up, but it's that 10 minutes yep. that really, oh. And I'm so glad I got the bloody uh, blanket because when I get in, it's, it's nice and I, it turns it off. Mm -hmm. it turns off after 45 minutes. Yep. So, um, yeah, you've already got it warm then. And that's the Wanderer one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. from BCF? Yep, yep. yep. So if um, you have, after an electric blanket, get the Wanderer one from BCF. Yeah. Pete recommends it. Plenty of plenty of good reviews. Uh, it was on special at 60 bucks, mm -hmm. but uh, normally 80 bucks. So I yep. mean, even at 80, it's probably good value, mm -hmm. I would say. But, uh, and you could run that in your swag if you wanted. Yeah, you could run it in a swag, yeah. no problem. With a little lead from your car. Just don't clothesline yourself in the middle of the night and you'll be only, right. Only stays on for 45 minutes. Yeah, but yeah cool. And actually, after all the, um, all the uh, research we did on blankets, yeah. the BCF one come out in tops. Yeah, that's what I found. Yeah. Just by looking at what people were saying about it. And yep. there was the other one that we were looking at, I can't remember the brand it was. They might have been 40 bucks. But yeah, I think they were. But no, it had no well, good reviews. No good reviews on it. Yeah. Just like that, hardly gets warm, etc, etc. And in this, so. in this day and age, it's the reviews that will give you a, 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 a very close, um, yeah. Idea? Yeah, absolutely. Product, yeah. You yes and no, it depends. Some people just, if they have a bad experience then they'll complain and some people that have a good experience they won't bother writing anything as well. Good. You'll get a bad review before you get a good review. Yeah. Always. Always. But you can always, I, I can always pick the, the people that are just having a whinge for the sake of having a whinge mm. and, you know, the, the genuine ones do stand out. Yeah. We've got some good coals there. Have to get a camp oven out. <laughs> got enough for a damper again? Hey. Got enough for a damper again? 
that was a bloody good, <laughs> yeah, a bloody good camper. Yeah. <laughs> I need to have a bit more practice at it. Get it uh, All you needed to do was rotate that halfway through. Yes, and, and it would have been better. Been, yeah, no, for sure. What better? Obviously, one side was a little bit darker than the rest. Yes. But the rest of it was good. Yep, nice. absolutely. I enjoyed but it. But I need to get it lighter. Like, it was very heavy. A bit more flour? I don't know. I think uh, Pete said uh, baking powder. Yeah. And that'll make it fluffier. Yeah. 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 You didn't use any. I would do. I would probably put an egg and use milk instead of water. Mm. That would. That will. Um, make it fluff up a bit more. Yeah. But then you're going back to what people used to do in the days when you couldn't carry eggs and milk. That's right. They friend. carried a bag of flour. Yeah. And, and water. They had a some some a box salt. Because you put a bit of salt in it, yeah. and uh, then they had their meat, and that was it. That was it. And it's like with the old, the old uh, swagmans in Australia. That's all they would carry around with them. Some, some. Yeah, bag of flour. Bag of flour. Yeah. In their, in their You'd always make your bread or or damper, mm. but uh, it was the same, basically the same thing. So yeah. you never get stuck. No. <laughs> I don't even carry flour or anything with me though. I so said my kit, my uh, my. Uh, Pantry needs a bit of a, a stock up or something like that. So I would like to use my camp oven on, for something. Yeah. Which oh. I, I still haven't used it. Oh, I've used it once, I think. Okay. Or twice. Well, yeah, um, cook some chicken in it. A stew? Mm. Yeah, a stew would be good. Yeah. Because it's only um, a small camp all oven. It, all it takes after you, after you empty it is to fill it with uh, half full of water. Yeah. And have a, have a, a good dish brush and... Yeah, that's all you do. Yeah, I used to fill it with water and just boil it off. Yeah, as well. And then, um, and then then re oil it. And then re oil it, spray it with oil, and uh, wipe it out with paper towel. Chuck the paper towel in the fire. Why no you dishes. Go. Yeah. They don't even know you've been here. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is a good spot, though. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Nearly five o'clock. Five to five. Probably quarter past or something more. Something like that, we'll put that on and clean it up and yeah, yeah. start cooking. Yep. Ruthie had some good uh, good recipes. There is sure. some good ones amongst the old uh, full drive action ones. Mm. There's some beauties. I had them all written down at one stage and I, uh, yeah, went through all the, all the old DVDs that I've got home at home. Yep. I've got them in a big uh, hundred and something folder of DVDs. Well, that's something Ruthie could do. Why didn't he release a recipe book for camp cooking? He could, and he probably should. I might suggest it to him. Huh? Yeah, some of the some of the old some. recipes that uh, came up a treat. Yep. Um, <laughs> some of the ingredients that he put in uh, some of his uh, camp oven recipes. Uh, I know uh, my sister uh, was uh, appalled. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that comes back to making do with what you got, doesn't it? Hey, that comes back to making do with what you got. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can you can put a, a pasta in a in a stew, and it yeah. thickens it up, and yeah. yeah, comes out a tree. Well, my mum did a freaking awesome stew the other night. Yeah, so good. I polished yep. that thing off. So leave. you got the recipe? Yeah, she's got it. Okay, cool. Had peas, carrots, beef, and just fell apart. Yep, the thick broth. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you keep your uh, you keep in, your uh, beef uh, stock. Yeah. Um, keep the the little ones. Yeah. And several of them. And if you make a big one, you use two of them. If you only make one for yourself, you use one. That's right. <laughs> but once you open it, it's it's hard to keep. Yeah, that's so, right. That's, yeah, you see, you get the small. You're talking about the small little containers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The cardboard containers. Yeah. They'll last for a long time in your in your pantry. Like, like you can't the Campbell stuff. Yeah. 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 They'll last for ages yeah. in your pantry. And they're the they're the staple of uh, of your uh, stews. Yeah. And uh, I'll definitely be uh, even lamb chops put in. Two, two lamb chops in uh, in there, and uh, onion, and uh, uh, spuds, and and carrots, and a few veggies, and yeah. do it up with a bit of stock. Beautiful. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. 
the meat comes out so bloody well cooked, it just falls apart. Yep. Unbelievable. Yep. Always does in a body camp oven. So for some reason. Deal. She did it. I think she did it on the two hours on the stove. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it was just awesome. Frozen it now as well. So if I want to grab some more, I can grab some more. So. Yeah. But uh, after a while, you get the hang of what you need. Mm. Listening to the transmission in that. Yeah. It's getting worse. <laughs> it's getting worse? Okay. That might be your next job. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Yeah. At least the trans and not the transfer case just yet. Transfer case doesn't make noise. It's that fifth gear. Okay. Well, if it was a transfer, it would do it in all gears. Yeah, no, it's only fifth gear I hear it. And when I back yep. off, it does it, it that, you know, that winding, okay. winding yeah. noise. Yep, yep, yep. And I know the previous owner towed horse floats with it, but I don't know if they towed in fifth, but I'm thinking they did. You wouldn't normally. No, but I'm thinking they did, because it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. Like I've got that much play in fifth gear. Yep. I can yep. feel that it's like the fork has just float yeah. in the fork. Yep. For fifth gear. I have to, that's all right. Are we someone else's job I'll to never, pull that out? Because I ain't doing it. I'll never forget the post on body. Uh, on uh, Prado Group mm -hmm. uh, from the bloke that uh, was talking about do you do you tow in uh, overdrive or direct? And everyone said uh, drop it out of overdrive and tow in direct. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, with the auto, otherwise you'll be bloody hunting up into overdrive and then back down and all the rest of it. And one bloke come back and said, oh, you should be able to tow a. I drive a two litre auto and tow all the time and it goes in overdrive. Oh, no, right -o. <laughs> Lead a horse to water? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just bloody heaps of them out there. They are just... Just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but a, a two litre won't hold overdrive. Nah. Not while you're towing, no way. What's that, a 2.7? Yeah, the I don't care what, nah. what vehicle it is, a two litre. But uh, even even my three litre, uh, every little bloody rise, it'll go back direct. Yeah. And it's not worth letting it do that. Just, nah. just hold it, gen generating heat. Hold it indirect and yeah. Yeah, just generating heat as well. And it's obviously you lose momentum when it has to shift back. Yeah, but the particularly on cruise, because mm. on on cruise uh, it'll it'll want to give it full throttle to maintain the set speed. Yeah. And uh, if you if you're on the foot, you you don't you don't hold full throttle. No. So it'll stay in overdrive. I can drive it on the pedal, no problem. For, for to, like uh, like with the weight, it's almost uh, equal to towing anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs>